You know we love a good ultralight tent here at Terra Drift. Well, any ultralight backpacking gear, really. So we couldn't have been more stoked to get our hands on the Durston X Mid 2. That's uh, this tent right here, by the way. Especially because this small brand is super popular with through hikers. And if through hikers who use their tent every night for four or five months are stoked about a tent, we can be relatively certain we're gonna dig it too. So what makes this tent so special? Well, for starters, it pitches with trekking poles instead of traditional poles. You can pitch the fly or the fly with the tent body. The polyester fabric doesn't sag or stretch out in the rain. It comes with all the stakes that you need. Yep, all of them. And it's super compact when all packed up. It's not a freestanding tent, which means you do need trekking poles or appropriately sized sticks if you... <laughs> <clears throat> Forgot them? Join our Patreon for behind the scenes footage of what that looks like. Or you can buy dedicated poles from Durston. But maybe most importantly for those of you who, like me, count every ounce when it comes to choosing backpacking gear, this tent is ultra light. Just 40 ounces or 2.5 pounds for the whole dang setup, stakes included. As a point of reference, that's exactly how much our beloved Big Agnes Tiger Wall weighs. But even though that weight includes the poles, that tent is a lot smaller. And size matters when it comes to tents, obviously. The X-Mid 2 has a floor area of 33.2 square feet. The Tiger Wall is only 28 square feet. The Mid X2 has a head height of 45 inches, while the Tiger Wall is only 39 inches tall. But how that height is distributed is very different and makes a huge difference. In a lot of UL tents, a lot of tents period, the sidewalls slope down from a center point, or one not far off center, meaning horizontal headspace is limited. As in two people may be able to sit up inside, but they have to lean forward toward the center if they don't want their heads and shoulders brushing the tent wall constantly, which is annoying. But that's not so with the Durston Mid X2. On the contrary, the interior feels so much more spacious than the numbers indicate because of how it pitches and how it's all shaped. Now, the fly is pretty square, but the tent body is more of a parallelogram. If you've forgotten all your high school geometry and don't remember what a parallelogram looks like, it's this right here. Now, what that means is that not only is the tent more stable than similarly pitched tents like our Gossamer Gear The One, it's also roomier. I mean, Josh and I fit so much better in the X-Mid than our Tiger Wall. In the latter, we can't fit two rectangular pads inside. They both have to be mummy style pads and there's very little room for additional gear. And we're small people. In the X-Mid 2, on the other hand, not only is there plenty of room for two wider rectangular inflatable pads, the floor is 52 inches wide, by the way. There was also room for gear by our feet and heads. Again, thanks to the unique shape, there's also tons of space in the vestibule if you prefer to leave your pack boots, etc., outside your tent. Now, with a lot of tents, if you do that, gear is pressed against the tent fly and really wedged in somewhere, meaning if there's condensation, it's gonna end up on your pack. Or if you open the fly in the rain, it rains on your pack. It's not great. But here, there's a whole little rectangular nook just for gear. Ugh. Beautiful. Plus, both of us could comfortably sit up inside the tent to read, play games, get dressed, you name it, all without elbowing each other in the face, which is always a win. Now, the structure is designed for two people sleeping with their heads at opposite ends. It's not the end of the world if you want to sleep with your head at the same end, say if you have a two-person sleeping bag, but it's more comfortable and easier to access doors and pockets if you sleep with your head by your camping partner's feet. Now, heads at opposite ends does mean you may want to work a little harder to find a perfectly level spot to pitch your tent, but like I said, someone can always sacrifice a little head space if you end up needing to sleep, you know, 
nose to nose. I don't know, play rock, paper, scissors for it. The waterproof zippers on the fly work perfectly and never snagged or got caught in excess fabric, which is great because <laughs> frankly, wrestling with zippers that get caught in fly fabric makes me wanna scream. Also, the interior doors are nice and big and easy to zip open and close and have dual zippers and the trekking poles never get in the way of getting in and out of those doors, which is awesome. I love the magnetic closures that keep the fly door open. They're just so quick and easy. I wasn't sure about the interior door tiebacks at first. Uh, they consist of two short lengths of elastic cord that you just loop and pull, like, you know, you're starting to tie a shoelace knot. But honestly, they don't take any more time or effort than more typical toggle style closures that you have to, you know, thread through the tiny fabric loops. And Josh liked this system right away. So sure. I'm convinced. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you do need trekking poles or dedicated pitch poles and to be able to stake this tent down. It's not freestanding and you can't pitch this puppy on a wooden platform or giant boulder. Of course I say that, but honestly, if you're clever, I'm sure you can figure out how to pitch it anywhere. I mean, did you hear what I just said about using tree branches? Also, I've pitched a tent with a tripod before, so, you know. But I digress. During testing in cool temps, we're talking low 40s here, there was some condensation inside the fly when we woke up, but not enough to drip or collect and run down the sides of the tent, which is great. That's largely because there's actually quite a bit of airflow thanks to the two vents at the top of the tent and a fly that doesn't come all the way to the ground. Plus a tent body made almost entirely of mesh, save for the bathtub floor, of course. Now that does mean it's not terribly suitable for winter backpacking. I just, no heat is getting trapped in this thing, but you do you. You can pitch just the fly for an even more ultralight setup, which is rad, but you cannot pitch just the body. So keep that in mind if you tend to prefer a flyless setup in warmer months. As for sustainability, this tent, like most of the brand's tents, is PFC free. It doesn't contain fire retardants, which are made with nasty chemicals that you don't want in your tent. And the brand supports a number of nature-based nonprofits. All good things. They've still got some growing to do in the sustainability department, but the whole company is basically just one guy. So we get that making forward progress can be tough for small brands, but we do look forward to seeing what's coming in the future. Oh, and did we mention the XMID 2 is only $280? I know that may sound like a lot if this is your first ultralight tent, but it's not. The Tiger Wall is 450. The Gossamer Gear, the two, is 320. And Z Packs and Hyperlight tents, which use Dyneema instead of polyester or silk nylon, are in the 600 to 800 dollar range. And most of those tents aren't as creatively designed for extra space. So basically, yeah, yeah, I'd recommend this tent. Now, the weather has been too dang cooperative and we haven't tested it in high winds or in pouring rain, but it stood up in moderate winds just fine. If we do test it more and feel we need to amend our performance review, we'll be sure to let you know. So we will drop a link to the Durston X Mid 2 below. And if you're in the market for a UL tent, check out some of these other Rad Gear reviews. Then go ahead and ring that bell, hit subscribe, and what the heck, join our Patreon while you're at it. Not only will you get to see outtakes and more silly videos, we also give away gear we test to supporters every single month. So, <laughs> free gear, hello. And if you don't wanna miss any of our other gear highlights, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're at TerraDrift and at TerraDrift.com. Then grab yourself an ultralight tent, wander on.